Welcome everyone, Jyotish friends. This is Simon and I have a very, very special um, video for you today. I've made a series of uh, how to time anything in your life. Uh, a series of free videos on YouTube. Uh, you can look those up. They're on my public channel, um, including the standard methods of Vedic astrology, uh, Chandra, uh, of Chandra Bala, Tara Bala, and so forth. Uh, how to use nakshatras for, for timing and so forth. But today, I'm going to show you a method that completely goes outside of all of that. All of those rules that one typically uh, has to apply to a good muhurta or an electional chart, meaning the moment you start a business, the moment you get married, this is outside of that. And it's a secret hack, basically, that when applied, almost guarantees a certain amount of prosperity from the endeavor you're undertaking. Now, I'm actually, I taught the full method in our Lucky Time Secrets class. Uh, yesterday, we just finished that, and it's a two-part technique. Today, I'm only going to show you the first part. If you want to see all of it, uh, you got to sign up for the Lucky Times class. It's still open. Um, and, uh, every class is recorded. It's yours forever for life. And you can get it by going here, decoding Vedic wisdom, uh, forward slash lucky times, or just go to the classes and click on the lucky times course. Uh, so far we're, at, uh, four less, no, we're at two lessons so far, uh, two weeks in it's, um, it's a comprehensive class. So it means we're going to go until we cover all the material, probably at least a month. And uh, if you can't afford the tuition, it, you can separate it into three payments. Uh, so I highly recommend that if you want to get the full technique and how to apply it to your own, your own birth chart. But for now, um, let's dive into the method and share part one of how this works. So the technique is actually very simple. It's its application is where the... Uh, uh, the finesse is. So the technique says, if you want to have maximum prosperity from anything you're beginning, uh, again, starting a business, uh, um, doing a fundraising event, calling the credit card company, applying for a raise, whatever it is, this is the technique. It's best to have the yogi and the duplicate yogi of the moment configured with each other, meaning conjunct, conjunct, or opposite each other, mutually aspecting, or even in mutual reception, meaning in Parivartana Yoga, but they have to be mutually interacting and configured with the ascendant of the chart. Now, how do you do this? In Parashara's Light, what you want to do, I can cast a new chart and I I showed our group basically how to find that. Uh, for any given month, you're going to have an opportunity to find a day when the yogi and the duplicate are enmeshed. So let's just basically go <clears throat> uh, for today. And in Parashara's Light, you will find the yogi is listed here under this table. And the duplicate yogi is here. So for this day, it's Jupiter Venus. And very quickly, we can see, are the yogi and the duplicate yogi intertwined? Well, no, they are adjacent to each other. And sorry, I'm just using the North Indian here. But I'm just going to go forward day by day really quickly. Then we have Saturn Mars. Are Saturn Mars intertwined? No, they're not. The next day, we have Mercury, Mars. Are they? No. Then we have K2, Jupiter. No. Venus, Jupiter. No. Why? Because they're not in the same sign or opposite signs or exchanging signs. Sun, Saturn. No. Moon, Saturn. No. Mars, Saturn again. No. Rahu, Saturn. Jupiter, Jupiter. Now, we don't count it when it's the same. The yogi and the duplicate are the same. And Saturn, Jupiter, Mercury, Jupiter. Let's just go to until we find it. Venus, Mars. 
Sun, Venus. There you go. Yogi, Sun, Venus is the duplicate. And now we have them conjunct. So then you have to configure them with the ascendant. Okay? That is the technique. Either put them in the ascendant or one of them should rule the ascendant. Now, um, you may ask, well, how do you know if this works? Well, part of it is, you know, I test everything on myself, including techniques that don't work, and then I end up losing time, money, energy, or all of the above. Um, but also, obviously, with uh, people's charts and, and so forth, and this is a proven technique. I did not invent this technique, but I have seen it work, and it is powerful. Now, one instance in which uh, I did see this work in a very powerful way is an instance in which I had to sell uh, a house, actually a piece of land. And this is the chart for that muhurta. Now, there is a backstory to this. The backstory was that the real estate agent uh, tried to sell another item uh, for me at a time that she chose. And unfortunately, she chose an eclipse to do the listing. So if you're, if you're working in real estate, it's the moment you put the listing up, the for sale, right, on the MLS service. <clears throat> so if it's a business, it's the moment you put the sign outside and you open the door. That's the start of your business. If it's an online business, it's the moment you your, web, your website goes live. At these moments, ladies and gentlemen, it is an extremely powerful technique to have the yogi and the duplicate yogi together and configured with the ascendant. Now, what do you see in this chart? So the yogi here is Jupiter. The duplicate yogi is Mercury. Not only are they configured, they are also in the ascendant. But further to that, they are each in their own signs, which makes this infinitely powerful. This is the most powerful possible instant you can have of this technique. Jupiter is triple strong. Now, in, in studying Vedic astrology the way I studied in, in Heart to Foe's method, a planet can have strength in any number of ways. One of those is by being in its own sign. One, that's called first tier strength. Number two is by being Digbala. Digbala is where a planet is called directional strength, where a planet gains strength by position. So Jupiter and Mercury get Digbala in the first house, Saturn in the seventh, Sun, Mars in the 10th, Venus, Moon in the fourth. As you can see, Jupiter is in the first house. <clears throat> Excuse me. It, uh, he has Digbala. All right. Um, now, is Jupiter Vargotama? Let's see. What Navamsha is he in? Four, five, six, seven. He's in Libra Navamsha. How do I know that immediately? Because the first Navamsha of a water sign is Cancer. So counting, so 0 to 320, 640, 10. So Jupiter is not Vargotama, or he would have been even further strengthened, but he doesn't need it. So own sign, Digbala, and retrograde. Now, retrogression is a form of first tier strength. Don't get this wrong with, oh, retrograde therefore means it's good. It just means it's strong, right? Because that Jupiter is very close to the Earth and very bright in the sky at the time. So for health things, this is not uh, ideal. Having a retrograde planet can produce things that don't act the way they should. It sh should flow this way, but it flows back, right? It, it should grow this way, but it grows this way. So cancer, all these kinds of things. Uh, are indicated by sometimes indicated by retro retrograde planets anyhow nonetheless this is a triple strength jupiter who is the yogi of the chart who is in the ascendant configured with the duplicate yogi who is himself exalted because mercury is both exalted and in, in its own sign in, in virgo so what well, the story is that uh, I set a very high price for this listing. 
the agent said I should really temper my expectations because nothing had sold for a while. She said the market has peaked and she recommended I said it a hundred thousand dollars less than I did. Well, at least fifty thousand dollars less. I did not. And on the second day after the listing, we had a full price offer. By the fourth day, it was signed and we were in business. I now you might say, okay, well, that's market factors, whatever. Anyway, long story, I actually did not make any money on this on the transaction on uh, the property itself because I had made improvements. But nonetheless, the muhurta worked. Now, you might also say, well, Simon, this is such a strong muhurta in so many ways. The fourth Lord is exalted. Uh, there's 11th Lord and 11th. Yes, I agree with you. By all the normal standard rules, all of that is true. Oh, the moon was debilitated. No, that doesn't matter. When you have such a strong chart, there's always going to be some dust, some dirt somewhere. Um, you have to be able to pick out um, you know, uh, the winner, even with the dirt and dust. If uh, you know Lionel Messi comes into your house, but his cleats drag a little bit of dirt into your home, you're not going to kick him out of your house if you're a football fan right? He's Lionel Messi, right? right? Nothing is perfect. You have to recognize the greatness of the occasion. And in this case, it is a, an exemplary, beautiful chart. Now, the point is not how great I am or how great the Mahurta was. I was lucky enough to have a time like this. Usually you, you will not notice that in the chart where sun and Venus are together, neither one of them and excuse me, the Sun Venus are together as the yogi and the duplicate, but neither one of them is in its own sign. And however, uh, Sun is Digbala. So in this case, Sun is Digbala. Venus is the owner of the ascendant. So there is a connection there. Is this uh, Muhurta as strong as the one I just showed you? No. But is this a workable, serviceable Muhurta? Absolutely. Particularly, if you can also get it to where it's Abhijit Muhurta, unless it's a Wednesday. And of course, if you don't know why uh, Abhijit on a Wednesday is not good, you should check out one of my other videos on timing and Muhurta. Uh, but no, this is a Tuesday. Uh, this is at two o'clock. So Abhijit Muhurta has already passed. Um, but actually, no. Oh, this is July 17th. Yeah, it, it is passed just slightly. So if I pull it back even by 10 minutes, there we go. I bet you we're in Abhijit Muhurta right now. So point is, try this technique. If you want to learn the full uh, application of this technique, even to your own chart, check out my Lucky Times class. Um, it is ongoing, but you can catch up. All the classes are recorded. Um, they're yours forever. And uh, if you have questions, uh, we will be doing Q&As for people from all over the world. We've got people from India, Europe, Australia, US in the class. So uh, I will set up times for everybody so we can uh, meet. We also have a WhatsApp group that just started. So you're welcome to join us. <clears throat> if you have questions, uh, you can leave them here on this video. So that's it. This is the uh, the very quick um, secret hack for how to create a prosperous uh, uh, electional chart for an occasion, uh, whatever that occasion may be, applying for a job, um, applying for a mortgage, or selling your house, um, or your car, or anything like that, or even buying a stock, right? So this all of this works. It, where money and prosperity are the question. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful to you. I'm, I went sort of quick through it. Uh, if you do have questions, let me know. Otherwise, we will see you in the next one. Adios.